So. Uh, so yeah, but behind there's there's computers behind me. We did a Destiny 2 uh, stream, so I hope you enjoyed it, cause it happened already. But uh, you can go back and watch it. Um, let's do the news. <laughs> Google, what are you doing? Uh, guys, uh, Google broke the internet. And like, I know that's a term that you use to describe like a viral thing. This is not that. Google actually shut down the internet in the entire country of Japan. You see, Google screwed up a border gateway protocol and mistakenly used IP addresses that actually belonged to Japanese service providers. So traffic that was meant for Japan was sent towards Google by ISPs like Verizon. Google is not an ISP and doesn't route traffic, so that information was sent nowhere, thus cutting out the internet altogether. Japan's Internal Affairs and Communications Ministry even got involved, but Google admitted it was their own fault. We set wrong information for the network, and as a result, problems occurred, a spokesperson said straightforwardly. It was fixed within eight minutes, but slowed down the internet for the rest of the day on Friday, and had a major effect on finance, online trading, and transportation. Yeah, I mean, these things happen, but it's probably less of a big deal if, say, it happened in, like, Idaho or something, or, or the Arctic in Canada here. So, uh, Google, next time you do this, just Idaho or the Arctic, those are the places to go, so you're gonna be all right. Fitbit has a smartwatch. They've announced their uh, their very first smartwatch, actually, and it's called Ionic. The, Ion the Ionic? Fitbit Ionic. Anyways, people are saying that it's actually pretty good. I don't know if people are still into smartwatches or if they're dying and no one cares, but the consensus is that it's right up there with Apple Watch and Android Wear devices, and it sticks to its fitness roots as well. It has an optical heart rate monitor, GPS, NFC chip, an SPO2 sensor, and 2.5 gigabyte storage for music and stuff. The SPO2 monitor tracks the amount of oxygen in the blood, which could alert the user of things like sleep apnea, which is kind of interesting. NFC will help with contactless payments, which you can do with Fitbit Pay. You can get 10 hours of battery life with this thing, and it's $299 US. And it looks cool. The display is really nice. See, I, I like the idea of a smartwatch, but I, I probably wouldn't buy one for $300. I know that's like not too much, but it just, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a watch. So maybe if it had like a holographic display that you could like interact with a hologram human. Um, so let me know when you get on that Fitbit, yeah. And now another thing that may be going out of style, VR. In a few months, Microsoft's first Windows Mixed Reality headset will be going public with the Acer VR headset. And today, they've announced a partnership with Steam VR that will bring games to Windows headsets. Engadget tried the $299 Acer headset with the Windows Mixed Reality controllers, playing games from the Steam store, and they were surprised at how the experience resembled that of the Vive and Oculus with little setup required. But is Windows too late to the party? Where's this VR thing going? PlayStation VR is trying to keep us intrigued as well, saying they've got bigger and better things planned. But on Friday, sources were saying that HTC wants to sell off the Vive, perhaps, and and maybe even the whole company. Are they looking for a way out? This actually got the attention of Palmer Lucky, and even though it's easy to call Palmer Lucky a dork and perhaps even an idiot, people seem to be way more into VR when he was around, so. Anyway, so there's, there's a few different things, but what do you guys think? Would you be more into VR if it was like more of a cheaper thing that you could get into, like with the $299 headsets and stuff? What do you guys think? Let me know. It's time for shorter news stories and more quickly than the others. Xbox One X is coming out and Xbox One S is doing pretty well, so Microsoft is going to stop selling the original Xbone in the coming months. So if for whatever reason you want one of those, then now's the time. An unfinished product page on the Target website accidentally leaked, showing only the words Bethesda Game of Thrones. This of course led people to believe that Bethesda may be developing a Game of Thrones game, but updated sources indicate that Target pages can easily be spoofed, so if you're excited about this, just uh, just control yourself. It's probably a, a, a goof and a gaff, you know? Sorry. 
The new Dell XPS 13 starts at $800 and gets Intel's 8th generation Core i7 or i5 CPUs with 4 cores and 8 threads. It's available September 12th. Also on September 12th, Apple is supposedly launching the next iPhone, you know, if you, if you care about that shit. I'm just kidding, I'm sorry, you can care about it. And the Destiny 2 Early Access Beta launched today on PC, but there have been a few errors that Bungie is calling saxophone and chive. No idea why they're calling it that, but uh, we're actually doing a live stream and uh, playing the game today, which is probably, it did happen already. So hopefully that did not happen when we, when we tried that. So you'll see, uh, you saw already, or maybe you haven't, maybe go back and watch it. Anyways, you get the idea. It was live. We're not, so, yeah. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post, linked in the description. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Sorry, that was so exaggerated. I, that's not what you guys sound like, British people. Sorry. NCXO dog. Hashtag NCXO dog. Hey guys, I'm told that it's nearly the end of a month called August, so go and subscribe to the NCIX newsletter and you can be entered to win an AMD Ryzen 3 1200 processor. If you're already subscribed, claim your newsletter points and you'll be entered to win that as well. So click over here for more info on uh, all that kind of stuff that I just was talking about. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Um, yeah. Goodbye.